hello everyone and welcome to another video so in this video we are going to talk about how you can maintain your aquarium water temperature accurately and also monitor the aquarium water temperature at the same time now when keep, uh, when we talk talk about fish keeping maintaining aqu aquarium water temperature is the most difficult task and that's because we are dependent on such heaters this one used to be a glass heater but now it's broken and they work on the principle of bimetallic strip so when the heater heats up the bimetallic strips start bending in the opposite direction and which breaks the connection and the current stops flowing and the heater stops working again when the temperature goes down the strips cools down and it come again comes in contact with the bottom terminal again the current starts flowing and the heater is then heating and it keeps on repeating the cycle turning on turning off turning on turning off again and again to maintain that temperature and that temperature is governed by this bimetallic strip because this is a mechanical part it's not very accurate and that's where module like this comes into play now this is a digital temperature controller and this one is the XHW3001 on this module you can set the starting temperature and the end ending temperature independently on the back you can see that this module is available in 12 volt 24 volt and 220 volt setting but here I bought the 220 volt setting because we are going to be working with aquarium heaters now with this module you can use your existing heaters all you have to do is simply turn the knob completely up so that the aquarium heater is always on because we are going to be turning the current on and off using this uh, temperature controller module so without wasting any more time let me set this up and show you how you can use this temperature control module uh, to maintain your aquarium water temperature but the, because this module is independent of what device you plug it in it can be used for a number of applications for example it can be used for uh, uh, cooling in which your starting temperature will be higher and ending temperature will be cooler you can also use this for incubation chambers for hatching chicken eggs or maybe you are a bird keeper who wants to hatch bird eggs uh, in which uh, this will work as a heater uh, you will plug in a heater and you will set the temperature and it will keep maintain the temperature here you can see two wires the red and the black these are the input wires so you will supply 220 volts through this wire this will basically connect to your wall outlet and here is the output and this output will connect to your heater or your refrigerator or maybe you want to turn a bulb on or off depending upon what is the temperature there is other wire this other wire is connected to this thermistor which is basically a temperature probe so this, uh, if you are maintaining, if you want to use this for maintaining aquarium water temperature, you simply put this probe inside your water. This is waterproof, so you are not going to damage anything. So let's quickly set this up and let me show you how this works. So I've got a lamp set up here, which we are going to use to test this module. And we are going to control the turning on and turning off of the lamp using the temperature using this module I've got the extension and if I plug the lamp in the extension you can see the lamp lights up so before we do that we as you can see the wire that came with the module are very small and they are very thin although at the back you can see the 220 volt version is rated for 1500 watts but looking at the wires how thin they are I'm not going to be running anything uh, greater than uh, 200 watts on using this module. So here is the input. This will connect to your wall outlet. So and here is the output and I'm going to connect a socket 
to the output of the module so that I can plug the lamp in this socket and I'm going to connect extra wires on the input so that we can connect the input of the module to the extension and the turning on and turning off of the lamp will be controlled by the temperature control module depending upon what the temperature is so let's just connect the socket first to the output of the module so I've connected everything here is the module the input of the module is connected to the wall outlet using this extension and the output of the module is going into this socket and then the socket is connected to the lamp now instead of the lamp if you are using it for aquariums you can connect the uh, aquarium heater to this socket or if you are using it for refrigeration you can connect your refrigeration unit to the output socket so this module is very versatile and can be used for a number of applications in which you want to turn the device on or off depending upon what the temperature is so uh, let's turn it on and as you can see when turn on it displays the current temperature there is the LED which says that now it's uh, working and here is the temperature probe so there is two only two buttons the uh, 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 button to decrease the temperature and the button to increase the temperature now I've told you before that you can set the both the temperature uh, starting temperature and ending temperature independently so to change the starting temperature press the uh, left side button long press the left side button and as you can see it starts flashing at this point you can increase the temperature or decrease the starting temperature let's change it to 22 degrees celsius or 24 degree celsius and once it gets st stable it will remember the initial temperature and let's set the final temperature to 25 degrees celsius so long press the right button and when it's pressing you can change the temperature to anything you want let's we want to keep it at 25 and it will remember that so at this point the heater uh, this setup is working uh, will work for aquarium heaters it will start as soon as the temperature go below what we set which was 24 degrees celsius and it will keep the heater on as long as the desired temperature the ending temperature which was 25 is reached so I'm going to simulate the heating by touching the probe with my hand and as soon as the temperature reaches 25 degrees Celsius uh, the module will turn off in this case the lamp and if you would have connected uh, aquarium heater the aquarium heater would have turned off as you can see as soon as the temperature hit 25 degrees Celsius the heater uh, uh, went off or in this case the lamp and now it should turn on so now as you can see uh, the heater is now cooling down and because we set the starting temperature to be 24 as soon as it hits the 24 degree celsius goes below 24 degree celsius the heater will again turn on so i'm going to blow on the thermistor or the temperature probe to bring down the temperature and as soon as it hits uh, go the temperature goes below 24 degrees Celsius the lamp or if in case of a aquarium uh, uh, the lamp or the heater will turn on so I'm blowing on the thermistor so the temperature is falling and there you go as the temperature hits below 24 degrees celsius the heater again came on and it will stay on until it reaches the final temperature which was 25 degrees celsius so if you are having trouble maintaining aquarium water temperature this module could be the answer for you the advantage of using this module is that because it is digital it's going to be really very accurate and you can set the starting and ending temperature independently also with this module you can use your current aquarium heaters all you have to do is turn the knob completely full 
or turn the your turn your heater completely up so that it's the heater is always on and the turning on and off of your heater will be controlled by the module so there we go this was my uh, review of the if you can see the XHW3001 I hope you like this video and found this video helpful and with that said I will see you in the next video bye